What's up guys? I just wanted to show you guys a quick little project I made that I'm quite proud of actually. Uh, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Um, what it is, is it's a couple of programs that are about this much text to code and together they'll freeze any Windows PC with maybe a few exceptions. I'll go over that when I talk about the code specifically, which will be in part two. But right now, I just want to demonstrate it. Also, I coupled these programs on something called a USB rubber duck. And what that does is it takes it's something you code and then it pretends to be a keyboard when you plug it into a computer and then it just types your code really fast so you can do keyboard based hacking so much faster now since the program also runs in the background it's gonna be uh, you're not going to be able to see it, so I figure the next best thing is to hear it. So, I've got this video. It's from my other channel. And now I'm inserting the drive. Now... This is a good video for you, because I'm going to be teaching you guys with homemade tools. Not touching the mouse, guys. My other hand's holding the camera. And the lag should start right about now. You can see the cursor slowing down and the video stops. But the sound didn't. Thought it would be like when the music goes crazy. It's unlocked now. When you're using too much. Um, now I'm going to explain what I did. Okay, you know, so when your exactly computer's not working very well. Lock. Well, with this one, I'm twisting the inside of the lock. And with this one, I'm put There we go. Pushing it. Got some audio lag now. Bringing the inside parts to the lock called the pins up. And all the code happened already, and so I can remove the drive the if I choose here, to. When the lock is forced to twist gently is it dead not quite you shouldn't be pressed that hard nearly just enough for moving the mouse but nothing's happening where'd my cursor go top right I mean left see that when it gets to the end and then just a tiny bit more and then what that does is it allows the pins to catch where they're supposed to be you just do that with all of them and you will that was the sound effect from removing the flash drive so I guess it's lagging a lot now these are especially but I want this to freeze completely solid cannot be overset. And so I'm gonna keep filming till then. Is that the pins? If it's boring, you can skip to the next part 
where I talk about something of else. Of more complicated I'll put an annotation for that on the screen. Or you can just keep watching like I am. After all the work I put into this. Now I'm gonna take apart it's nice the seeing it in action. That's exactly what I mean. I think if I take apart this lock, and it will be easier to show you guys what's happening. So that's what the pins look like. Surprised the audio isn't lacking more than that. They're all line up like that. Oh, there we go. Maybe be able to turn. When you're pressing on them, it does that. I'm surprised and it's not worse than that yet. And then you're going to have to press them again. I guess a different RAM now part by forcing these guys to turn operates the audio. And maybe that's why it's doing that. And a little bit. That can keep them depressed. Is that it? That might be it. Yeah, it's completely frozen now. Wait, the cursor moved. <laughs> the cursor disappeared. Huh. Oh, maybe I just didn't see it. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to call it there. Now I'm going to do a hard reset. So actually catching on the bottom left in this case. <sighs> Apparently the audio is still working, but so I'm still really going to give it a hard reset when you go in here. I'm just holding down the power button. And I'll be back when it turns back on. Alright guys, so I did the hard reset and everything's good now. So I've got task manager open and I'm gonna show you guys that again. Only this time you're gonna see what's happening in the background. Okay, insertion. And the windows are going to insert the code into the PC. Uh, you wouldn't have to do this if you just use the software. I mean, uh, the two files. It would work with just a flash drive, but then you would have to click the files, and it wouldn't be left with a blank screen. So you can see all those command prompts are opening. And that's basically what the code does. It just opens a whole bunch of itself and the other one runs them in the background.
I can't even scroll because it's lagging. But all of these guys just open five more of themselves. So that's all it is. One more hard reset and then I'm gonna edit this for you guys. And then I'll go over the code. And maybe that'll be done in the same day. So before I finish the video, I'd like to explain what the intended use for this thing is. I've been telling my friends about this thing and immediately they always tell me, what's the point of that? Why would I want my PC frozen? Well, the quick answer is, it's not for your PC. It's for someone else's PC. Now, what I specifically would use this for, personally, would be to save a couple of my nerd friends from the trap known as Tumblr. Or, if you're a vengeful person, maybe someone you know is just asking for it, and they're right in the middle of a long render process in Premiere, and the video is nearly finished rendering, and then bang, or rather wish the screen's frozen. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Um, but yeah, revenge and saving your friends from Tumblr. If you've got another use for it, let me know in the comments below. Um, consider subscribing and I love video likes. That's it. Peace out. Before I go, I'd just like to wish everyone a happy Halloween. I sort of wanted to do a Halloween special of some kind, but I'm out of time. Although, I guess I can offer something else. Lockpicking is actually scary easy, so maybe you guys will get a couple scares out of watching my Lock Reaper channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.